It's exciting news for millions of drivers, as you mentioned, and it'll begin with the southbound lanes of 75 over the Rouge River Bridge for two years. Construction crews will begin tearing up the southbound lanes of I-75 over the Rouge River come February. If images like this one seem familiar, it's because for years, MDOT has been tackling massive potholes on the bridge. The cost for the project, we've learned more than $170 million. There is no bonding or no additional funds that are, are going into this project. This is something we've been budgeting for for a number of years. Chinowitz says MDOT isn't even relying on money from a bill that passed early last year. Before the passage of the additional gas and registration fee tax from last year. So, like I said, this job has been in the works for a number of years and it's part of our normal program, so no one should notice anything different. The largest bridge in the state carries a mere 37 million vehicles a year and has more than 25 acres of concrete driving service that will be completely broken up, removed, reconstructed, and then opened back up. Then in 2018, we're going to flip traffic. We're still going to keep northbound going, but we're going to flip it onto southbound. And then we're going to do the northbound side. So it's anticipated to be a two year project. And having worked on this project for years, the team behind it also created planned detours for everyone. Well, the uh, freeway detour is 96 to uh, 275. For uh, local access, for folks that uh, live wor and work right in the area, the uh, community that needs to, to get right there, our uh, local access or local detour route will be to use uh, M85, which is Fort Street. In Detroit, I'm Nibu Chaffee, 7 Action News.